Good morning. Happy Thursday. Sitting here with Ella. She's eating some Lucky Charms. Um, I yesterday had a very stiff, sore neck. And apparently, however, I slept last night made it worse. Because I am in so much pain today. I'm just sitting here like glued to my heating pad, hoping that that helps. I'm just doing all the lazy mom things today, like feeding our cereal and we're just sitting here on the couch. I do have some videos to film today, so hopefully um, my stiff neckness is not obvious. That would be awkward if it is. I'm starting out the vlog today. Anything you want to say? Oh, your lucky charms are gone. I guess that means it's nap time. But good morning. What I didn't want to do today is clean up dog puke off the carpet. Every time I do my hair like this for videos, I regret it instantly. Like when will my hair ever look normal again? This is with so much hairspray holding it down. <sighs> what in the world? Not cute. I literally just filmed an entire like three minute clip explaining what I've been up to and the stuff I've been able to get done during Ella's nap time, um, explaining why I changed outfits to get some additional videos filmed and um i just got done and realized i had the camera facing the completely wrong way so um <laughs> yeah i'm a new youtuber i'm gonna insert a clip of that now just so you can see how painfully awkward nevertheless it's been a really productive nap time and i'm feeling really good about things <laughs> but anyway i'm not gonna reshoot any of it because it's dumb and i need to go get ella up but i just had to make fun of myself for a second <laughs> yeah Outside. Ella and I are outside swinging. She woke up about halfway through what would normally be about halfway through her nap. She woke up crying and when she wakes up crying that is instantly an indicator to me that she did not sleep long enough. Um, the only thing that really got her to calm down was coming out and spending some time outside so we've just been out here swinging. She's been letting me scratch her back and tick your legs and all that stuff, but she's awake. Um, it's hot out here. We're both a little bit sweaty, but she's enjoying it. So we're just hanging out out here, waiting on Cody to come home so I can go and get our grocery pickup order and start dinner for the night. What? Yeah. You want it? Okay. Cody's home from work. I need to go pick up a grocery order, but honestly, I'm just like taking a second to like sit in silence in my car. This afternoon was not the easiest. Um, Ella woke up 45 minutes into her nap, which is about halfway normally. And she woke up really upset. And if she wakes up crying, I know she's not slept long enough. And I couldn't get her to go back to sleep. And so of course now she's awake, but sleep deprived and just not happy. And so the last couple hours were draining. Um, and it just kind of had me reflecting on what I think is like one of the hardest parts, one of the hardest transitions for me into becoming a mom is the reality that you are, that you always have to be on when you're a mom. Um, even when you want to be off or you're normally off, like when they're napping, it doesn't go according to plan always. And, um, you know, so whatever you were planning to do in that time, when you had a few moments to yourself, it's gone. Um, so that's, that's just hard for me. I'm a planner and, um, that's why having Ella, having Ella on this set schedule is really helpful for me and it helps me be productive and just kind of be my best version of myself. And so when days like today happen, it just like can be a little bit of a bummer. So it's not the end of the world by any means at all. It's, I mean, tonight can still go great. I have a feeling it won't be the easiest because she's gonna be sleep deprived until it's time to go to bed. So it'll just kind of, I expect it'll be a little bit of a grumpier night. Um, but that's just something I was thinking about is just, um, I feel like everyone has their thing that is extra difficult and challenging for them as a parent. And I feel like for me, that's mine when I don't get those moments or those pockets of time in my day for myself. 
that I normally get or that I expect to get, that is just hard. Um, so I just wanted to throw that in there because A, I've been thinking about it. <laughs> I'm feeling the effects of it because of how this afternoon has gone for us, but also because I don't want to just capture all the good things and all the easy things and all the best moments, but also the days that don't feel like the most fun and exciting thing ever. Um, which was today. So anyway, like I said, the day could totally turn around. So I think processing through a little bit of what made today kind of challenging should help me maybe refocus and have a good attitude going into this evening. But I'm on my way to get groceries and then I'll come home and make dinner. I've got a new recipe that I found last night as I was placing this order that I want to try. Um, it's a ranch chicken bake, so I might film some of that and we'll see how it tastes. But anyway, I just wanted to take a second while I'm sitting here and kind of enjoying the silence <laughs> in my car to share a little bit of that that had been kind of on my mind. <laughs> this new recipe that I found online. It's a ranch chicken bake. This is all the ingredients for it. Um, <clears throat> I really, I don't want Cody to know that there's mayonnaise in it. So hopefully he doesn't watch this till after he's eaten it and loved it. But basically what you do is you take the chicken, you coat it in mayonnaise, and then you um, cover both sides of it in this breadcrumb, Parmesan cheese, and ranch mixture and then you bake it in the oven. Um, reminds me a lot of the steps for um, chicken parmesan but without the eggs um, and the mayonnaise instead. So I'm excited to try it. professionals look like after doing this because I have a feeling it's not like this. Cody was able to get Ella down for a little bit of a nap. She just woke up again and is still fussy. I'm kind of wondering if her teeth are bothering her. Um, she's really been unfazed by teething up until this point, thankfully. So it's a little bit it's just throwing us off, her being this upset and us not able to figure out what the issue is. She doesn't have a fever. Um, she's prone to ear infections, but I've been 
you know, pressing down on her ears and she doesn't seem bothered by that, which usually that indicates to me that she has an ear infection. So I got some Tylenol in her in case it's her teeth and we'll see if that helps. But he's downstairs entertaining her. So while the chicken bakes in the oven, I'm going to get a load of laundry folded. because I need to go finish dinner. But thankfully, the most tedious and annoying part of that task is done. Okay, how good does that look? This meal looks so good. So we're sitting here eating dinner. I think it's really good. Cody says it's fine. It's just not his favorite. He says there's something about, something that's in the chicken that just tastes a little off to him. But he has something to tell you. There's something in this chicken. Is this fish? No. <laughs> what? It's ranch, parmesan, breadcrumbs. I want you to finish eating it before I tell you. I think I'm done. And mayonnaise. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Gosh, why wouldn't you tell me that? Because I knew it was all in your head and that it was fine. But now I see that you actually really don't like mayonnaise. I see, I told you. But so you don't hate it because you ate the chicken and said it was fine. Yeah, I don't hate it, but I mean. Yeah, there's like a little coating of mayonnaise. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Ella likes the chicken. <laughs> yep. We are getting ready to go on a quick little walk around the neighborhood because this girl's got to stay up a little bit later than normal since she took a late nap and walks are a good way to entertain her. Cody, have you recovered from your mayonnaise chicken? I think so. Okay, all right. Well, tomorrow's gonna be a fun day because our cousins from Kansas City, my sister and her family are in town and we're gonna have a big pool day and Cody will be at the Reds game tomorrow night and it's just gonna be a fun Friday, but anywho, that is it for our Thursday. We will see you next time. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, Cody. Okay, bye.